How come his people always have enough to sell? Because the only way these college fools know how to transact is to screw their partners. Yeah, we gotta find the cooker. Think his latest slam knows anything? You're better than I thought. I'm even better when I'm high. Stay here. First taste is on me. Are you Michael's girlfriend or something? Too much eye makeup. You look like a raccoon. Best in the city. Got my own private chef. Come dance with me, Michael. You promised. That's a nasty habit. I'm a nasty girl. Well, it sounds like we should hang out. What's your major making friends? No, I don't go to school. Just the parties. Makes you smarter than most of the people in this room. You like feeling smart? Beats the alternative. What if I told you I could help you to be nastier for less? Hmm. Really? Hmm, they say women take a long time. You're first to the coffee, first to the shower. Then get up earlier. Then let me get to sleep a little earlier. Mm -mm. Forgetting something? You think I should flaunt being married to the boss? You kept your last name. You can wear the ring. I don't want to be your wife on the job, TC. Chris, you're my wife wherever we go. If they give you a hard time, honey, you can always come hide in my office. <laughs> come on, go to work. I'm late for work, and instead of treat you like one of the guys. <laughs> Not like one of the guys in the locker room. You know, you look pretty good for a guy. Yeah? Well, I could play like one, too. Oh. oh! What do you have to say now? Room me. Thank you. Monica, where'd you go last night? Party went till five. I got tired. I didn't feel like sleeping with you. Come on, you don't have to make excuses. Tell me the truth. So how'd you like that glass I gave you? Blows doors. Can I get some more? I watched you pocket it. Worst thing you did all night was beer. Look, I, I gave it to some friends in the valley, okay? Potential buyers looking for a connection. I don't believe you. Assault and battery, Perkins, please. Resist arrest. You all right, miss? Yeah, I'm fine. What's your problem? Well, he was hurting you. Yeah. And you should see what I let him do in the bedroom. So then you don't want to press charges? Maybe against you. Unless you're supposed to attack students. I checked the campus pharmacy. The computer has conveniently crashed, so they can't confirm Bobby's tips on any of the missing ephedrine. We're old, Chris. Why? Because I'm married now? No, we're old because we're old. What are you talking about? I went to Russ's yesterday, and they were talking about me. And when I walked in the house, they changed the subject. I don't believe you. Have you ever heard of Fish Betty? Who? Trust me, Chris. They think we take our teeth out at night. Why didn't you tell me you were running undercover on our case? Our case? I thought we weren't working together. That girl looks like a green rookie to me. She blends right in. She's a liability. Then keep an eye on her for me. Hey, I'm not a cop anymore, remember? You sure are acting like one. You don't know anything about me, Lieutenant. I know your parents were killed by a drunk driver. I know that's when you started roughing people up in the streets. And I quit before I got out of hand. Two broken noses, five cracked ribs, three excessive force investigations. Sounds like it got out of hand to me. You know, you sound just like the upper brass at the LAPD. He fit right in over there. And you don't know me either. Look, I'll make you a deal. You keep an eye on Monica for me. When it's time to take down Perkins, you get the bust. Why would you do that for me? Your case. Your collar. Deal? Deal. By the way, how'd you make her? Please. Talk about your great scenery. What are you doing here? Picking up a beautiful girl. No one would believe you had a chance. 
Now get lost before you blow my cup. You didn't say anything about anybody else. I said I had a buyer. Is there a problem here that... No, it's fine. Quincy Cherry, this is Rusty. What's your real name? About as real as Quincy. Sounds like something off an old TV show. Yeah, well, a matter of fact, it is. Mom used to call me that because I have a little hobby of cutting things up. And I bet you never outgrew that. Well, my daddy nicknamed me Cherry. Why? I don't know. He went to jail before I could ask him. If you three have finished your mindless bonding, we need more of this. Look, I got people in Van Nuys that are starving for a cheap high. Anything to forget they're living in the valley, huh? Why come to us? We got a lot of cash to spend. Michael said he'd sell me half of his next shipment, but I don't like dealing with middlemen. Well, we don't like strangers. Fine. Sell me the name of your cooker and I'll deal direct. I didn't think you knew who he was. Why would college boys sell her his half for 20 pounds? I don't care about that. I'm worried he might sell her ours. Yeah, well, let's make sure that doesn't happen. I gotta get going. We'll hook up later. You promise? Get out of here, Paul. <laughs> What's it look like? You should have taught her to just say no. She is 17 years old. You ever heard of statutory rape? Huh? Sure. My lawyers will get me 40 hours of community service. Do you know how many years you'll get for manufacturing crystal meth? That's it. Our deal is off. It's a damn shame. Winnie's heart's gonna break when she finds out what daddy's been cooking. That's her cooker. I was meeting a friend for lunch, and I just bumped into him. Don't run that crap with me, Granger. I was there. I saw you. Lady, you've been on my tail since the second I got here. Damn straight. And I'm going to stay on your tail. You know what I think? I think you backed your way into an undercover assignment, and in the process, sit up. You jeopardized the life of a fellow officer. But it all worked out, didn't it? I mean. Now I can stay close to Monica and give her some protection, too. You got lucky. Rather be lucky than good. You might want to think about that one. Good cops don't get their partners killed. Rookies get to you. Oh, it's too late. One of them already weaseled his way into an undercover case. Look, think of this as an opportunity. When you make sergeant, you can train him the way you want to. I don't think I'm going to take the test. Why? Because Chris is a buddy? Yeah, I just don't think it's worth risking our friendship. But you've been on the force a lot longer than she has. And she's also my lieutenant's wife. So you think Chris will be happy to get promoted just because you didn't try? Great. We got Michael Perkins on tape walking out with another box of ephedrine last night, and we still can't bust him. Except for stealing ephedrine, and then we lose the cooker. This is insane. He's flaunting his operation. There's nothing we can do. You really miss being a cop, don't you, Cruz? Don't assume you know anything about me. I do know that your parents were killed by a woman with two prior DUIs. Yeah, and her daddy's political connections. She walked with probation because, hey, it was only a couple of Mexicans who died. It's really horrible. The only thing worse was my superior officers choosing not to press for a stiffer sentence. But just so you know, you don't have to worry about that with TC. He doesn't cave under political pressure. What else are you going to say? You work for him. Yeah, that's right. If it wasn't true, I wouldn't have married him. Let's go.